You're welcome to my channel, Mindset Academy, where we want to reproduce the figure that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen in orthographic projection. Right? So, when you have the word orthographic projection, the first thing you have to do is for you to draw your orthographic axis. That means you will draw the y and the x axis right so i have the vertical line and i have the horizontal line this way i see that now i will take my compass and i'm going to measure Five millimeter or ten, depending on what you want. If I measure five, that is from zero to five here. You can see that, and I'll place it on this point. I'll mark five up, five left, right, then five right, and five down here. You can see that. Then I'll draw my line to go across that point. So the first one here, I'll do this, the second one here, I'll do this, then this, I'll do this, and this, I'll do this. I see that? So this is what you first of all do, you draw your quadrant. Knowing full way that any measurement you have to measure will start from the outer corner or this point here. So let's start. Now if you look at the diagram closely, we are told to look at this direction and we should draw the front elevation, the plan and the end view. So the arrow, I have reproduced the figure here. This is the figure you can see, right? So we're working with this figure. It's the same as the one on the screen. So the arrow is pointing towards this side. So that means the side we're referring to that the arrow is pointing is called our front elevation. No full do well. The front elevation can be here. It can be here. It can be here or here, right? Depending on where the arrow is pointing. Since the arrow is pointing here, that will be our front elevation. Now what you should do from this figure here is that you look for the entire length so the entire length means from the beginning of this to the end of this as you can see from the diagram that is what 40 so i will measure 40 starting from the outer corner here so if i take my meter rule i'll measure 40 so from zero here to what to four is 40 right and i am going to take it up this way I'll take it up this way and the height the entire height from here to this point that is the entire height that is what 25 so from that same point I'll measure 25 from 0 to what is 20 and is 25 and I am going to close it up this way Oh, you can see that now since I've done it that way this is where my figure will be placed that is this figure you're seeing looking at this side so when you're looking at this side what are you going to see you're going to see this z-like shape here you can see that you see and this is a z-like shape that means and you're going to see this protruded area here that is extruded here right so if this is my figure a here is what A and A is this you can see so whatever you're seeing looking from this direction and you see Z all this side here you're going to see you will not see the top you will not see this side you're only focusing on the front where you can see looking at it perpendicularly so this is the figure I'm going to draw now if you look at this from this end to this end which is this end to this end is given to be what 25 
So from this end here, I am going to measure what? 25. So from zero, this is 25 here. Then I'm going to thicken it. Is that thicken? Or thicken it? Now the next thing is from this end to this end is from this end to this end, which is also what? 25. So I'll measure 25 at the top also from 0 to 25, which I'm going to what? Thicken. Is that thicken? So we'll take here, I'll take it up, faint line first, and I'll take this one down, faint line first. Now what do you notice? From here to here, which is from here to here, is given to be what? 10. And I'm going to measure 10. So I'm measuring my 10 from here, from 0 to what? To 10. Similarly, I will just close it up. On this point because from here to here is from here to here right which is what i'm about to do here take your rule and connect these two together right and you should close it up so i'll close it up and also close it up you can see that similarly from here to here is from here to here is also what 10. So I'm going to measure 10 here too. From 0 to 10. Right? And I'm going to close it up. Then I'll move it from here to here. Is from here to here. So I'll just connect it to that point. This way. You can see that? And I'll bring it from here to here is connected which is from here to here and I'll connect it you can see that then the next one is from here to this point is from here to here whenever you're doing auto vibration any side that is inward you assume they're in the same level as the outer line so this inner line here is assumed at is at the beginning of the line that's why i brought it on the same level as this so from here to here and from here to here will be on the same level all together and what distance from here to here that is what seven so i'll measure seven go from zero to seven all right and i'll close it up then i'll bring it down Hope you can see that that is what we have there that is, you know, so that is the shape that we have now we move forward that is the front elevation that we have placed here and the next thing is the plan I am, to get the plan. I am going to project each of these ends outward this way that will so we have then if you notice this for the elevation from here to here is 40 the plan means you're looking from the top right so the plan also from here to here is what 40 which is from here to here that is 40 is that the key now then if from here to here is 40 automatically from here to here is what 35 so I'll measure her height of what 35 on the plan so from zero here 35 and I'll close it up so close it up here so that is a plane that you want to put in our plan if you're looking it from the top right what do you notice from here to here and from here to here we look as if down a straight line that's why I'm drawing a straight line this way is that the key? that is why what I am drawing a straight line this way so I'm going to take in that aspect, distance of 40. Can you see that? Now the next thing is, from here to here, which is the 35 that we have, is also a straight line. So I'm going to take in it also. Then 
Then the next one is from here to here also. It's also thickened. So I'm taking it all around. Since what we have there is thickened all around. Right? Because you see that from here to here and from here to here will look as if they're on the straight line. So from here to here is what we have from here to here. So it will look like it's on the same level as since you're looking perpendicularly downward. Right? Like I always explain. If I look at this point this way, right? If I look at it that way, hope you can see that. It will look as if the tip here is the same level as what is under here. We've seen the masses on the same point. So let's just move forward. Now, the next thing is, you see this point here, more like a Z, it's going in. It's going what? It's going in to the other end here, right? Just like where this line is what is going in. So what we'll do is we'll use hidden line to show hidden feature. We cannot see this corner from the top. The top is flat. So since we cannot see this corner here, we're going to show it on the diagram using hidden line. And what is the distance from that point to the other point we have? So if you remove 25 from this side, you get the hidden line. So if I measure 25 from here, Oh, I don't have to stress myself. This is the line here. This point here is this point here, which is this point here. So if I project it downward, instead of measuring the 25, just project it downward this way. So that will be my hidden line. You can see that. And the next one is this line you've seen here. So when I project this this way, faint line. Also, project it this way, faint line. You can see that. So, what we'll just do simply here is that, um, what we'll just do here is from here to here is from here to here, which we don't really know. So, if you add um, 25 or the thickness from here to here, right, just remove 23 because from this point to this point is 23. All together, so I'm going to measure 23 from that point. So from here, I'm going to measure 23 on this line here. And 0, 20, 23 here. Can you see that? And I will just close it up here. Then I'll close this one up too. Close here up to do what we have here. So if you're looking on the top, you see all the shape here from here to here is from here to here, from here to here is from here to here, right? And this two point like I told you earlier will be on a straight line. So this is what we have in looking from the top. So all this side you're seeing here is all this side. You cannot see the right, you cannot see the left, you're only seeing the top view, looking from the top. Now the next thing is to draw the end view. The end view is at this point here. If you were told to draw a third angle projection, this you draw here will be down here, and this you draw here will be up here. So to draw the end view now, which is will be this aspect here, first of all take your set square and draw an angle of what for the first degree. And once you don't have your set square, you can just use connect these two points together here this way. Anyhow you want to do it. So you just draw the angle you draw like this will be 45 degree. So if you have your set square, you place it on your T square this way, and you look at this point you draw. So once you've done that, you start projecting each of this point to touch. Let's start with the external line to touch the line drawn at 45 degree. Then project this to this side too. So whatever you are doing must not pass this line. So if I take it up this way, so this is the line that we have. So this is what we are about to draw. So the first one is, looking in from here, you will see all this rectangle. That's let me call it to be B now. You're going to see what B. So and it's easier to look at that if I should just project here this way. So from here to here. Is thickened just like from here to here, also is thickened, right? And 
from here to this point here is also thickened and from here to this point is also thickened including here to here if you're wondering why am i taking this line it's just if you're looking from here to here which is from here to here and from here to here which is from here to here they were blasted on a straight line we are viewing at an autograph projection right so you'll be having that's how i draw the straight line this way similarly from here to here and from here to here, do the same thing then from here to here is from here to here and from here to here is from here to here they will apply on a straight line look as if any line you see that is going in will appear as if it's in front is that the key just like my hand this way if i place my hand this way it look as if this hand you're seeing is on the same level as this right if i put it this way just watch no matter how i move it look as if they're on the same level you can see that doesn't mind that and very fully aware that there's a space there so if i'm moving them on the same level if i bring them down as you can see there's a space in between so um we'll move forward now the next one is this line you're seeing here which is this point here we cannot see it looking from this direction so i'm going to use hidden line to represent that line so from here you can do it this way so i use hidden line Again. and the last one of the list is this point here let me call it c you will see the point c here right and these are points you see if i project this this way and i take it up this way you where they are meeting so i'll just stick in this side here so that will be my point c there that you're seeing so this is the front elevation the plan and the end view this is what we have here so if you have found this video helpful please don't forget to like subscribe and also share the video thanks for watching